Okay, friends. So in this session, I'm going to discuss uh, JSTL C set code tag. JSTL C set code tag is used to assign a value to an object or a variable within a specified scope. So in this syntax, I'm using here JSTL C set code tag with the attribute var scope and value. So what this tag will do is it will simply assign the value Abdul M. Sarsilmaz in this variable or object in the given scope. Here I am using scope as application scope. Assigning a value inside a variable in that application scope means the value inside this variable will be available across any page in a single JSP application. So let's have a look on attributes of CSET tags. There are three attributes in C set JSTL code tag. First one is value attribute. So it can be hard coded value or an expression. I mean, here we can have a hard coded string just like I have here Abdul M. Sarsilmas, or even we can have an expression as well. Now the var attribute, the use of var attribute is it holds the variable or object name. So here look, we have the var attribute. This var attribute holds either a variable or an object so whatever variable or object is here the value from here will get assigned here in this variable or object now the third attribute is a scope the scope can be either request session page or application right now in this syntax look here i am using a scope as application right here so let's dive into an example. Okay, friends. So I am set here with uh, a single JSTL example application right here. Inside this web content, I have here JSTL example.jsp file. Look in this JSTL example.jsp file, I have JSP boilerplate code actually. In line number four, I have here taglib directive. The taglib directive is used to refer JSTL library. So right here using this URI attribute, I am simply referring this JSTL, JSTL core tag library and the prefix C will be used to access the core tags, JSTL core tags inside our body right here. So what I'm going to do here is first of all, I'm going to have a JSTL C set tag. So using this prefix C, I'm accessing JSTL C set tag right here. And to this C set tag, I'm going to assign the attribute where like this. So in this where attribute, as I have already told you that we can assign in the where attribute either a variable name or an object as well. So here I'm going to assign a variable by name 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 itself. So here I have a variable by name name and here after this variable, I'm going to assign the scope attribute of C set tag. So as I have already told you, you can use a scope as either um, session request uh, page or application. So I'm using a scope here application and then the value right here. So value is equal to Abdul M. Sarsilmaz. Now after this JSTL C set tag, I'm going to have here an anchor tag with href attribute set to maybe display.jsp and the label to this href tag I'm going to assign display. So when I will click this anchor, it will take me all the way to display.jsp page and since in this page, this C set tag is setting this hard coded string to this name variable in application scope. So once I will be redirected on display.jsp page, this name variable will provide the hard coded string of the limb sarsilmas on display.jsp page as well. So let's go ahead and code display.jsp page. So I'm going to copy the name of file I have to hard code here so right click 
new and JSP file. I'm going to create a new JSP file. Name of that JSP file will be display.jsp. Click finish. Well, in this display.jsp uh, file, first of all, I will use this taglib directive to refer JSTL core tags on the top. Okay. Now, after um, using this uh, taglib directive for JSTL core tag library, inside this body, all I have to do is simply read this where, I mean this name variable on this display.jsp page to grab this hard-coded string from this name variable. So, how can I do that? Here, I'm going to have the C out JSTL core tag. I have already explained C out tag in another example. So, what I have to do here is I have to simply use value attribute to access the name variable set by this C set JSTL core tag in JSTL example.jsp file. So, value is equal to, I'm going to use the EL that is expression language here and I'm going to pass here the name variable. So, what it, what it will print here, C out will print here, uh, the value is stored inside this name variable in this JSTL example.jsp file, since both the files are in a single JSP application and this JSTL example.jsp file has a value inside this name variable in application scope, so no problem, display.jsp file will simply provide the value stored inside this name variable in JSTL example.jsp page over here in display.jsp page. So let's go ahead and run this file run as run on server click finish okay so look here jstl example.jsp file i mean this file is running so since this file has been executed we have a variable here name with the value of the abdul msarsilmaz and this value abdul msarsilmaz will be available across display.jsp page as well in the name variable so here in the display.jsp file I am printing the name variable coming from JSTL example.jsp file via the cout tag. So let's go ahead and since we are already uh, we are already executing this JSTL example.jsp file, now I have to go to display.jsp file by clicking this link that is display link. Click it and look here I have the value of Dulem Sarsilmas that was set by C set tag in JSTL example.jsp and that value is being read here in this cout tag inside this value attribute by this el expression 